I'm Illinois Extension's Todd Gleason. We're joined by Todd Hubbs, agricultural economist at the University of Illinois. Hey, Todd, thanks for being with us today. I appreciate that a lot. You've written an article for this week's Farm Doc Daily website at farmdocdaily.illinois.edu titled, How Bad Will Ethanol Demand Destruction Get? And you start really with taking a look at what happened in the gasoline or crude oil market in the previous week. Can you tell me about that, please? Uh, yeah, we saw in negative oil prices <laughs> last week a real shocker to a lot of people that follow commodity markets. And there's a lot of speculation: can this happen in corn or ethanol? And it's feasible, but highly unlikely. But what that negative oil price really did is focus on the enormity of the demand destruction that's impacting the oil complex, and in particular gasoline. You know, we've seen gasoline stocks climb to record levels, and, and we're going to have to see some pretty substantial closing of refineries to even slow the build of gasoline inventories. So we've seen gasoline demand drop off significantly since March, over 43% between March 28th and April 3rd. Last week, we saw a slight tick up in gasoline demand, which may have signaled a bottom for you know gasoline consumption in the U.S., and hopefully that's the case, but it looks like it's going to be a long, tough path to get back to normal gasoline demand levels in 2020. What does weekly ethanol production look like? It's really dropped significantly. We've seen it drop almost 46% since the middle of March. Last week, we saw an extremely low 563,000 barrels a day worth of production, and I expect this to carry over for a couple of weeks because we've seen more plants idle and lower production in the last week. And while these lower production levels have been going on, we've seen inventories rise to 27.7 million barrels. So I think as we move into the end of April here and early May, you'll probably see a continuation of very poor ethanol production and, and you know, it's followed through much lower corn use. USDA in April dropped corn use for ethanol. Is it likely that they'll do that again in May, and how much has the drop been? It's looking highly probable that it's going to get dropped again in May. We've seen a substantial reduction in ethanol production, well over 50, somewhere above, slightly above 50 percent of, you know, possible production has gone offline or been slowed and slowed down quite a bit. You know, we're looking at how much production we get week to week. Through April 17th, I calculate we're sitting at around 3.25 billion bushels of corn use for methanol production. Even if we start seeing the economy come back online, we're starting to see some states ramp back up. A lot of them are in low population areas. We could see gasoline demand have sort of a rapid recovery or what a lot of economists call a V-shaped recovery as state economies open up. It's highly unlikely that the demand will approach pre-pandemic levels anytime soon. For ethanol production, I think you're going to see more of a U-shaped or gradual recovery because it seems unreasonable and unlikely that a lot of these these ethanol plants that have been idle are going to come right back online. It may take a few weeks even if gasoline demand picks up. And they've got high inventories like we discussed before to work through. So I'm seeing sort of a muted recovery for ethanol production. And I talk about it in the piece a little bit. But in the end, I'm seeing about another possible 300 million bushels of corn loss just from ethanol production. Now, we'll get some of that back in feed use. But everything going on in the livestock supply chain, um, all the bottlenecks of processors, the buildup of hogs back into the countryside, lower feeder cattle placement. We've even seen, you know, hatcher hatcher chicken egg sets down 5% year over year for two weeks in a row. So this, the kind of feed use may be more muted than we would expect as we came into this process. So when we think about it, yes, we'll get back some corn use and feed, but it's going to pale in comparison to what we lose um, from ethanol production. Just to clarify, in the April WASDE report, USDA dropped 
corn use for ethanol by 375 million bushels. You think that could be uh, increased by another 300 for nearly 700 million bushels in lost corn grind to the ethanol industry? It very well could be, Todd. Uh, it really does depend on how quick the economy gets back into place. In the scenario I put out this week, I'm seeing sort of a gradual recovery in economic activity. If the economic activity picks up much stronger and much quicker, we won't have this kind of scenario. But as we sit here right now looking forward, you could see um, quite a bit less corn use for, for methanol production due to just lost gasoline demand. Now, the scenario I lay out, the, it is based on this gradual sustained return to economic activity through the summer and a moderate slow expansion of gasoline consumption. Hopefully that's wrong for everybody concerned and we can see it pick up substantially as we get into June, July, and August. So a little hope there. 675 million is actually the total number that you're talking about. Uh, and that would be offset by some increased usage of corn in the livestock industry. But Yeah, it won't be a complete loss of that amount. Nowhere close. Yeah, but you were, we're talking somewhere in the, I would think, somewhere in the 450 million loss in total. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yes, sir. That's Todd Hubbs, agricultural economist at the University of Illinois. I'm Illinois Extension's Todd Gleason.